Hello, hello, everybody. I'm Steve Reinhardt, CEO of Artificial Intelligence Technology Solutions, trading on the OTC Pinks with the ticker AITX. This is your weekly update, and we've had a high-profile week. We've had a high-profile week. It is Thursday evening. I'm in Tampa Bay, Florida right now. Got to get this weekly video recorded and out so it can be edited and ready for you to watch as you're watching it right now because the week's madness is far from over. And the first thing on the agenda today is what's happening tonight. Why am I in Tampa in a nice suit? Um, what's going on? Well, tonight is the premiere, and remember it's Thursday night when I'm recording this, of a movie with John Travolta called Cash Out. And over the last couple years, I've said, hey, there are a couple movies that we uh, we're in and haven't been released yet. And this is one of the movies that we were in, one of the two movies we've been in and hasn't been released yet. Now, in the press release, you'll see that uh, you'll get a link to the clip. And in the clip, there's a couple areas where Rose is in the background. And there's also one of the IMDb photos where Rose is in the background too. So really, really, really cool. Hopefully, when you're watching this, we were able to capture some photos from the red carpet or from the event. Hey, maybe I, I got the chance to meet John Travolta. I don't know yet, right? Because I'm recording this before the event. So that might be fun. There may be some cool photos uh, scrolling you know, through the event right now as, as I'm sharing. Hopefully there are. This particular production was maybe a little bit extra fun. Uh, we had one of our guys there and he needed help. So I actually went to Columbus, Georgia, where this was filmed. And I was like creating like some Wi-Fi networks and doing some tech work, which was super fun in order for Rosa to do what it needed to do, which is kind of just be this cool security device. I'm really curious to see how the movie handled having these security devices in, in the photo. There was one moment where I'm kind of, you know, down, I'm, I'm on the ground, I'm tinkering with some electronics and a computer. And uh, Kristen Davies walks by and she looks at me and I look at her and I'm like, hi. And she's like, oh, hi. And she walked on. I don't know. That was my, I don't know if that's relevant at all or interesting. <laughs> but anyway, I thought that was kind of funny. Um, I will also share that uh, John Travolta's stunt double and I hung out for a little bit. Super nice guy. Super cool guy. Been John's guy for the last 25 years. Um, anyway, movie stuff I like. It's fun. I don't watch a lot of them. But obviously, I'm about to go watch this one. And when this one gets released, I hope you guys do too. So that's high profile thing number one that we've got going on. And high profile thing number two, of course, is Rad Dog's deployment to Taylor PD. Uh, how cool was that, right? We got covered by most of the media, at least that I can think of, in Detroit and in the Detroit area. And it got picked up by a few other, uh, uh, a few other kind of TV stations and news productions kind of in that Michigan, Ohio area. So that was really cool. The quotes that we got from the mayor, from the chief, from some of the support staff of how important Rad Dog could be for officer safety, situational awareness, de-escalation, absolutely added more fuel to where I think we're going to take Rad Dog. As a result, this week I also announced that we started work on a hundred uh, unit production run for Rad Dog, and we started that work in January. I decided to issue that news to you this week because following on the heels of how well Taylor accepted their first Rad Dog, I said, okay, now is the time to share with our fans, followers, and investors that we're leaning into this, that we have a vision of an autonomous remote device operating semi-intelligently with police officers in the next three years on mass. We'll see how that works, but at least you know that we have that in the vision and we're working towards that. Along the same lines of talking about the Taylor PD deployment, big shout out to them, big shout out to the mayor, big shout out to the chief, big shout out to everybody else we met, including SWAT. Today, Thursday, I saw some video of SWAT training with the Rad Dog and it was really cool. We have a request into them to see if we can actually share it publicly. Um, I think it will be denied, but I got to see it and it was really cool. So I'm excited to see Rad Dog perform in the field and really help out that police department. 
Switching gears, earlier in the week, I think it was Tuesday morning, I got to the Rex, which was my first time to the Rex this calendar year. I don't think I've been back since early December, so it's been a long time. And I got there and I looked around and I took a video and I shared it with everybody. And the video was like, wow, you know, parking lot getting full. Uh, we got a fenced off yard for additional materials that we're laying down. We have a 40 foot container on site further expanding our space. And uh, just giving credit to our guys who run the wrecks, right? Using the space as well as possible. So I thought that was fun to share. And of course I referenced uh, years ago when we had, you know, internet trolls saying the Rex isn't real. I mean, so ridiculous, right? It's those same people that attack and criticize anything and everything that we say. Anyway, just wanted to throw that out there. The other thing that's happening right now as I am here in Tampa is we are kicking off a healthcare event with Allied uh, in Nashville. And we've got a few of our people there, so we're in very good hands there. A bunch of Allied people and some great end users from healthcare. This is kind of a rad slash allied hosted event because, you know, we're contributing financially to it. And of course, we're featuring Rad Light My Way. So I'm excited to hear what the outcome of that is. Hopefully it's, it's a handful of high value leads with great potential going into the funnel, but we'll see. Needless to say, it's always fun when we team with allied and always something that if it's public, I want to share with you. Okay, everybody, we're wrapping up the weekly. It's a quick one, I know, but hopefully some good information in there for you. Next week, no travel for me, uh, which I'm looking forward to. And then we've got a little bit of travel. Then we've got our big show, ISC West in Las Vegas. Now, one of the things I will bring to your attention for next week is firearm detection webinar uh, that we prepped for last week when we were at the Rex. Anyway, it's on Tuesday. It's hosted by Security Magazine. Quite a large attendee list is what I have seen so far to date. So that's pretty exciting. Anyway, guys, we're out there. We're working. We're making progress. Thank you so much. Hope you had a great week, and I hope next week's even better. Best.